Hello and welcome to Coxie's Picks and we are continuing on with the David Deval roller coaster escape breakdown and we're looking at the actual thumb cuffs that we utilised. Well what I've got here is a replica with a non-functioning lock but that's okay because we didn't use the lock in this escape anyway. One of the really cool things that David Deval is is that he presented it and he explained how to be locked up in such a way that people believe that that was the way it was supposed to be done. Now if you look at this particular device the idea is that the thumbs get placed in with the turn screw on the top which would then compress the wood against the thumbs which modern day would class this as an act of torture because there's nothing to stop um, the wood pressing against the thumbs and you can keep pressing and therefore crush the thumbs. Now the lock on the original actually stopped these two pieces of wood from separating so once it was in position the lock was then made. Where it was supposed to be implemented is it's supposed to be thumbs in like so with the th a turn screw on the top. Now what David did is he told people to have it this way round so that he couldn't access the keyhole because what he was saying is that he'd be able to access the keyhole this side so he convinced them to have it this way round but at the same time it allowed him access to the turn screw and he was able to undo like so. Now it was very clever the way it was done, right? Um, by positioning his body and presenting it in such a way that it convinced the person that was restraining him that that was the correct methodology, and that's how it worked. He was able to undo the screw by literally convincing someone that that was the correct way of installing it. So that was that particular item. How would I update this if I was going to do it? Well, I would use the Yule M05 thumb cuff. Now, you might ask yourself, why would I use these? Well, they're one of the few designs that have the grips at the top and the bottom, right? And they also require to be picked twice from this side and this side, right? With two separate times. There is a facility to double lock. However, most people wouldn't double lock. And if they didn't double lock it, that would be awesome for me because what I would do is I would do a window exploit. So I get my lock pick in and all I need to do, because we all know about the window exploit now, we just lightly push against the spring and a little touch against that and it would open free and that's how I would get this one off. Okay, whilst I was about to demonstrate the escape I realised that I've actually bent the spring and I've broken this side. So, oh well, in the interest of science I might as well show you exactly what I was going to do. So the idea is, is that the thumb cuff goes over and the thumb cuff goes over. Yes, I know this side is now broken but never mind. You get your pick, you reach over, oh, might have to use some tape to hold it in place, but you get your pick, you reach over, you place it into the point where you want it to be, which is this side, you would then lean up, lean on this lever, like so, so we're going to push up on that, I'd be reaching over with this finger to just touch the pull, so let's just get it gone, and it would do that. And the idea was is that I wouldn't bend the spring, but unfortunately I bent the spring because I got a bit too excited and did it a bit too quickly, so I need a new set of M05. So that is how I would modernise the thumb cuff aspect of the David Deval roller coaster escape. Thank you very much for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.